What's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be doing a video. Um, this is the start of a brand new series, and it's what every election since 1960 would look like today. So, let's get started. I will be using Jackson Jude's map to find out the past election results. Um, I will be using the USA, um, I mean, how the shifts have looked since then. And then, this is how um, the original map looked. And I don't really know why I have it up. Um, but... I will not be including Bayard because he probably would not win a state today. So let's get started. I will start off with Nixon's safe states. So it would be states of Montana, Ida Wyoming, Idaho, Utah, both the Dakotas, all of Nebraska except for District 2, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, Alabama, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Alaska, and Maine District 2. Um, M Richard Nixon actually performed very well in Maine. Um, so I do think that he would win Maine District 2 by a safe margin, but there weren't districts back then. So now, um, for John F. Kennedy's safe states, those would be the states of, um, those would be the states of California, Hawaii, Illinois, um, just kind of this whole strip thing right here, except for New Hampshire, and um, I believe that is all. He was a New Englander, so he would kind of get a very good appeal here, except for in, like, Maine and New Hampshire, because those are states that Nixon performed very well in. Um, so now, for this, th this map right now, like, it doesn't really look like a normal map with the safe states, because South isn't all, like, safe and stuff. West Coast isn't all safe and stuff, so yeah. But now for Richard... Um, I do think, since Richard Nixon was from California, he would get some of the West Coast appeal, like a very little bit of a West Coast appeal. And John F. Kennedy could get still, still could get some appeal in like Louisiana and Mississippi. But, yeah. Okay. So now, for Richard Nixon's likely states, it would be states of Nebraska District 2, um, Iowa, Ohio, um, Missouri, Louisiana, um, Mi Mississippi, South Carolina, um, and I believe that is all. So now for John F. Kennedy's likely states, those would be the states of Oregon, Washington, um, New Mexico, Colorado, um, well, not Colo Colorado, no, it wouldn't be Colorado, um, and let's see, would there be any other likely states for him? Uh, um, no, those would be all the likely states. So here's kind of the battleground map, the states that aren't filled in. This is like all the battle, what the battleground states would be. So I'm going to go through the lean states. Um, lean states for Richard Nixon would probably be the states of Arizona. Um... Florida would be lean. I'd put Texas as lean. John F. Kennedy did win Texas, but it has shifted a lot to the right since then. Um, I would think I would, um, Maine at large, I'll put that as lean for Richard Nixon, because as I said, he performed very well in Maine. Um, now for John F. Kennedy's lean states, which would be the states of Colorado, Virginia, um, I'd probably put, oh, I forgot to put Maine District 1 as likely, um, New Hampshire, I'll put that as lean for John F. Kennedy, Georgia would probably be lean for John F. Kennedy, same with Nevada would probably be lean for John F. Kennedy, same with Minnesota and Michigan would probably both be lean for him. Pennsylvania, I will also put that as lean for John F. Kennedy. So John F. Kennedy has already been elected, but these would be the two closest states, and I do think that both of them would go to John F. Kennedy. Um, both those states have shifted to the... Um, well, North Carolina has shifted to the right by like, fi by like five points since then, but um, I do think John F. Kennedy could still get some independent support there and win the state by a tilt margin. And in Wisconsin, it has shifted to the left by around four points since then. Richard Nixon won it by 3.7, so he probably win it by around, like, 0.5%.
So this is the end of the video. It's just basically the 2020 election map with except Arizona and uh, North Carolina and Maine at large and North and Nebraska District 2 flip. But I hope you liked this video. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. This is the end of the video. Next video will be the 1964 election between um, Lyndon B. Johnson and Barry Goldwater. This will be a very interesting matchup to watch. So yeah, um, this is the end of the video, and bye.